Well, a Houston teenager is about to graduate high school after facing some pretty major setbacks. After losing both parents, Hurricane Harvey, and even homelessness, Alexander Valdez refused to quit. For this journey, I'm about to embark on my final um, moment. Alexander Valdez will be the first in his family to ever graduate high school. And considering his life circumstances, that's an even bigger accomplishment. There were times when I had every reason to give up. And there were people that have told me, like, well, I don't even know how you've done it. Like, I would have given up at this point. Alexander's mother died of cancer last year. His father passed when he was nine. And his family home was destroyed by Hurricane Harvey. But what none of his classmates at Austin High School knew, Alexander was homeless. I decided that when I came here, you know, I wasn't going to let that be the thing that they knew me as the homeless kid from XYZ situation. Bouncing between his aunt and his sister's home and working part time, some days Alexander was living out of a backpack, catching a Metro bus to walk to school hours early to study and freshen up. He refused to drop out. When I came to brush my teeth at school and I was looking at myself in the mirror, I was able to tell myself, you know, like, you're going to get through this. You know, taking it one day at a time was key. His junior year, Alexander connected with and confided in Emma Manessis, the student support specialist at Austin High, who he says became like a mother, making sure he succeeded. When I couldn't afford to go and buy, you know, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, you know, the everyday essentials, you know, it was me coming to her office discreetly. But there was times that he was having some rough times and he just wanted to vent. He would come in my office sometimes and say, I don't want you to say a word. I just want you to listen. But Alexander said he never wanted pity, realizing as tough as life was, others have it worse. Now at 19 years old, he's ready to start a brand new chapter. After graduating next month, he'll be attending Albion College in Michigan, thanks to grants, scholarships, and a ton of resilience. The journey that I took each and every day to get to school, that was a reminder of it's like, okay, yeah, this is where you're coming from, but that doesn't mean that this is where it ends. This is not the end for you. You know, you still have bigger things that are awaiting. And he's such an inspiration, Caitlin. He told me he wants to major in social work and pre-law, and he's just such a self-assured, confident young man, and I think that's also why he's been so successful. You can just see those moments in the mirror. We've all had those moments where we wish we were strong. The fact mm -hmm. that he did that every day. Every day. It's incredible, Jonathan. Yeah, really glad to share his story tonight. It's amazing.